Yeah, these are so blurry. Oh, I got it. Okay, so I literally just got home from clinical skills. It was actually really fun today. I have been really enjoying the clinical skills that we've been doing these last like week or so. It feels like it's been more than a week, but it's actually only just been a week and today's Monday. So today is the second week out of the three, but I don't know why it just feels longer. So last week we done IV flush and then this like session today was learning how to use an ophthalmoscope and an otoscope, which is like what you use to look into your eye and what you use to look into your ear. And it was really fun. I feel like the clinical side makes it feel more real. Like it feels real. Like I'm actually gonna be looking at real patients. Very weird, okay. Oh yeah, I'm actually pretty hungry right now. And it's only like what? Oh, it's almost 4.30, okay. By the way, today's fit. Funny enough, I think the whole fit is actually H&M. So these are like my favorite high-waisted trousers that they have in this pretty brown color. And I have it in like gray and black as well. And then like a cute little knit vest because I feel like it's knit season. So I love it. And it's got like a little slit. So cute. Okay, so I've realized I am not really craving granola anymore and I really want some chia pudding. And the thing is, I actually haven't got any in the fridge. And then I also remembered that I hadn't shown you guys the little quick chia pudding hack that I've been using for a while now because recently I've been a little lazy. I've been too tired at night after doing a lot of work to actually come back downstairs, make some chia pudding, pop it in the fridge for like the next few days and stuff. So I've been getting along with this little trick instead, which I actually saw on Instagram a while back and I've been using it ever since. And to be honest, I think it's quick, easy and delicious. So let's make some chia pudding. Which bowl shall we use? About a cup of chia seeds. And then the trick is boiling water. I know it sounds weird, but just bear with me. A little bit of boiling water. See, look, the chia is already starting to like set. I think I need a little more. There we go. And then we're gonna add in some a little maple syrup. And now that that's ready, I literally just pop in some yogurt. Using my fave, Coco's. Mm, yum, yum. Some yogurt in. And ta -da. Nice and yummy chia pudding. In like what? Not even two minutes. I know I have a chopping board, but don't ask me why I'm just doing this now. A little bit of blueberry conserve. Strawberries. How weird that I now can't have a day go by without some strawberries, and I used to hate strawberries. It is so strange how you can get used to everything. And some goji berry. And we're done. How quick was that? I mean, how quick was that, literally? And look. Mm. Oh, this is so yummy. Mm. Oops. Purpose A and T team and washing video. If you're not, first clean the tray with detergent wipes. Look and feel for a vein. Once you've decided on a vein, clean the area with the alcohol wipe for 30 seconds, which is a key. and allow to dry for 30 seconds. How cute is that? I'm 
wondering what this is. My best friend's graduating next week and she's becoming a nurse and I'm just so proud of her. And so I got a few bits and bobs for her this week in terms of like a little graduation gift. So I just wrote a cute little handwritten letter because I think nothing beats a handwritten letter. I, I can't. I haven't thrown any of my letters from like my birthdays and any gifts over the last, I wanna say 20 years or so because they're all just in a little box under my bed. I am also going to quickly wrap her gift and the reason why I'm filming this is because I would have already given it to her before the video went live. So I know she's watching right now, but I don't really care because she would have already had her gift by then. Can we just take a moment to appreciate this cute little book of like wrapping paper? What a lifesaver. And also, did you guys see the collection of cards I have? How freaking adorable. It is the cutest card set that I was sent by Papia who are also kindly sponsoring this portion of the video. I don't need to explain myself. You guys already know how obsessed I am with Papia. I always tell you guys all of my academic diaries, my journals, my notebooks, everything. Papier. And these also just make my life so much easier. I feel like everyone needs these, especially since holiday season is right around the corner. I'm sorry, but you can never be too prepared for like Christmas and holiday season. Things like this, and you don't need to ever stress because you will always be one step ahead. Papier team have actually spoiled me this year and I was sent so many goodies over the year and it just makes it feel so surreal because younger little Edgem, back when I started college and everything, I was obsessed with Papier. And the fact that I now get sent products all the time it just it makes my heart feel so full and so I just sat down and thought about which ones were my absolute faves that I use every single day and I decided to get Nadja some of the same ones because if I use them a lot I know she was going to also get so much use out of it as well so I ended up buying her this cute little gift set which comes with like stickers and bits and bobs and then also the cutest 2024 diary so that she can write down like her to do's and like her lists and her stuff so that she can be prepared and organized as a nurse oh my god I love it it makes me feel so happy I may have gone a bit overboard but I can't help it when it comes to stationery, okay? I literally cannot, like, can you can you sense how excited I am right now? I got her this cute little pouch that she can pop stuff in and pop into her bag so that, you know, she can be ready for those long shifts, okay? And the fun thing is, a papier literally have something for everyone. They have loads of different designs, they work with so many different artists, so you know, no matter who you're shopping for, you will find something for everyone. And guess what? You also get to personalise everything. Which is why, bestie, if you're planning on getting anything for anyone, you want to check out papier, whether it be for Christmas, for their birthday, birthday, for a new job, stocking fillers, check, a reading journal for the bookworm in your life, check, a recipe journal for the foodies in your life, <clears throat> me over here, check. And with all that being said, I will leave all the info for my fave papier down below in the description box along with the link and also make sure to use code EDGEM15 to get 15% off. How amazing, I know, thank you papier. And yeah, it is time for me to get wrapping. I think I'm going to use this one. These are all Nadges, yeah? I literally just realized these are all of Nadge's little gifts. And then this is actually Shakira's. And I just remembered that Nadge's diary is being delivered tomorrow. So I'm actually gonna wrap those up tomorrow. Please review the introduction. At this point, you wanna do the tour, okay? Advance the can go in. Good morning, bestie. Today's outfit, ta-da. craving some sourdough so I thought I'd pop into Gales on my way back home from uni. It smells so good. Is there ever a wrong time for avocado toast? such a pickle girly like anything pickled i'm sold breakfast lunch and dinner green tea lunch laptop of course because i can't go anywhere without this laptop oh this looks stunning mm. i swear there was a period where i was obsessed with clementines and i would have like five a day do you guys remember that oh my god i just got my reporting instructions for my first hospital placement ah, that's scary I don't understand how people don't like olives. I feel like there's quite a lot of people that don't actually like olives and I just don't get how. So I'm going to show you search engines and databases that you might want to use.
You know what, I have no energy today, I don't know why. I literally only have one lecture about how to pass exams. It's not even content. <laughs> there were actually supposed to be tube strikes today, but they got cancelled yesterday, so now we all have to go in. And I just have no energy. blanket see i was so tired this morning and i was really debating about going to that one lecture but i just knew a gem go to the lecture and i actually had such a productive library session today which goes to show sometimes you just gotta firm it guys time for some lunch don't ask me why i was craving an acai even though it's like kind of cold today i realized i never sit on my bed during the day as soon as i wake up i'm out and my bed is done and tidy and then I only really get into bed at night when I'm like about to sleep but since I had so much work done today I thought let me have a chill little reading sesh on my bed I finished when breath becomes air oh my goodness I was crying my eyes out on the bus it was such an amazing book and then I asked you guys what book I should read next over on my Instagram so if you aren't following me there you might want to go check it out and the book that had the most votes for me to read next was things we never got over by Lucy score which which is what I'm currently reading. I'm in a reading mood now, so I'm gonna actually chill and read for a bit before I get up and make something for dinner. Got my coffee, have an acai, my Kindle. Oh my God, life is good. Life is good. And look at how cute the cover is. Like daisies are one of my favorite flowers. Thing. I think it's for ramen, but I'm gonna use it for soup. Oh, this smells so good. This literally takes me back to my childhood. This is like my favorite soup. Since it is officially soup season, I thought I'd start it off with my favorite, my favorite, absolute favorite soup. I love all kinds of soups. I love tomato, mushroom, like a butternut squash or like a sweet potato, lentil soup, everything. But this Turkish yogurt soup with chicken and like little vermicelli noodles this is literally my favorite because when i was younger whenever i'd get ill or unwell which was pretty often because i had the worst immune system as a kid this was the soup that my mom would make me asap and i would feel better literally the next day i will say though in the original recipe i'm pretty sure they put like an egg yolk in the yogurt and flour mixture before they temper it i don't think my mom ever did so we've just always stuck to the recipe with no egg but please give this a go if you haven't because it is so Mm. We're in all day today.
so happy it's Friday. I feel like this week actually went quite quickly, but then again, I feel like I did spend most of the week in the library. So yeah, got most of my stuff done. I actually have quite a few like prescription-based e-learning stuff to do now. And I was actually doing it this morning in the library as well, but then I realized it's so long. I have like, I think 11 of them to do, and even just doing one this morning took me just over an hour. But I will say I have got most of my stuff done for the week. And look what came in the post. Time to wrap these bad boys up. Okay, so now that those are also sorted, I think it is time for me to maybe catch up on some last minute work and then head to bed because I'm so tired. I'm so happy it's Friday. Anyways, bestie, I hope you guys enjoyed spending the week with me, even though I don't know if it was that fun of a week. But if you did, let me know down below. Also, make sure to check out Papia down in the description box below. And yeah, I hope to see you guys soon in a new video. Bye, bestie.